Hello, 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 welcome back to Santas with Santas Gaming. We're back in Seven Days to Die on the Patreon server for War of the Walkers, and we left off with our stream right before the Horde Knight kicked in. Uh, we had to go, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take a few minutes now to record the Horde Knight, and, uh, you know, upload it, and hopefully you guys enjoy. So we're about an hour away from the Horde Knight, uh, we have most of our basic prep done, it looks like. We got our toothy design up and running. We got some metal spikes down. We actually have extra metal spikes, but I don't believe we have enough to do in another row, so we're just going to leave it there. We have an overhang that we can shoot down off of. Might not be a terrible idea to get a second layer of an overhang here, so we can come out a little bit further. <laughs> uh, but I don't know if we actually have the time to do that. Now, let's see. Maybe we do. Yeah, we'll be fine. Might run out of frames, and if we do, it's not that big of a deal. We'll do what we can do. Yeah, we're gonna run out of frames, but that's okay. I do like to go out too. Makes it a little bit easier to shoot down. So if you didn't know, you can shoot through the wood frames which makes them a nice cheap overhang option early in the game before you have a whole lot of um, iron bars and things like that built up. Oh, we're gonna have just enough, nice. And we have one left over. Make a few extra frames here. Just in case we need them for some reason. I don't foresee us needing them, but never hurts to have them. Alright, let's jump in here. Let's unload some stuff into the inventory slots. That way we have plenty of open room. Uh, I do want to be wearing that, probably. Alright. Drop off those. Don't need that or that. I don't believe we have any crossbow bolts, so we can't use that. Drop off all this. We are, what, too hungry, too thirsty, too thirsty. Darn it. All right, let's drink up, make sure we're hydrated for Horde Knight. We're going to be using our blue Fama as we need. Put that away, put that away. We have a hunting knife we could potentially use. Don't need any of that stuff. Actually, we're gonna keep the cobblestone rocks out because we're gonna probably need that. Keep the jar of honey because we might end up needing that. Uh, okay, it's going pretty good here. I hear, whoa, hello! He shouldn't have been able to get in there. Oh God, I didn't put down. Okay, okay, well I'm glad that happened right then and not later. We have to put down a layer of stuff right here. Oh God, okay. Um, tip. We have to do this real quick, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm glad we, I'm glad I realized it right then. Uh, we have to put these down, otherwise they're going to be able to get in here. Alright, well, we just got to be, we got to be as quick about it as we can be. Um... I'm more concerned about getting these down than I'm about killing this wandering horde. Because otherwise crawlers will be able to just come right in. Which we do not really want. Might have just been the dog who's able to get in like that. Still, we don't really want that happening when the horde spawns here in a second. Alright, so this could be really tight time-wise. I really needed to get that down already. Oh, this could be bad, boys. Oh, this could be bad. Why am I using this instead of something else? What am I doing? I'm panicking! I'm panicking! Oh, the horde hasn't even started, guys. Alright. Come on. We 
need to get that in. I think it's actually a dog that's stopping me from putting it in right now. I know this isn't actually how I should be doing it, but it's going to have to work for now. Alright, get the dog body out of there. Okay, we'll see how this works. I'm not entirely convinced it will. Alright, here we go. Fortnite is a go. Alright. Unfortunately, the site's already weakened a little bit. But that's okay. I'm actually not quite sure how they're digging underneath there. But we'll have to get some more layers of uh, blocks in then. Because that seems to be having a problem we're having all over the place. I didn't think they could attack downward quite like that. It's unusual. It's even terrain. So, but that's okay. We should be fine. They don't appear to be able to slip through despite breaking underneath like that. Perhaps we should get some blocks going. Like some just solid blocks. to put underneath there. appear to be able to, the reach is going further than I feel like it should, but let's just throw those down. Just want to make sure we're not going to run into a situation here where they're going to tunnel underneath. They shouldn't have been able to do what they did there. That's okay. I usually actually replace the inner ring with cobblestone too, so that's probably why I've never run into this before. I just uh, didn't really have time. Didn't really have time this time around. All right, let's clean this up a little. Almost out of bullets. Definitely guess I should have dug that out better. That's okay. Living and you learn and you get Geico. I feel like I should grab my shovel out, just fix around the edge here real quick. I think I have time to do this. Alright, that's a little better. You know what? I see we're getting damaged here on this cobblestone. I don't really want that to fall. Alright. 
I just hope they don't break through that concrete there, because if they break through that concrete, we're going to be in some trouble. Because we actually don't have a way to repair the concrete. Oh, he glitched through. Goodbye. He, uh... He went straight through the pole. Like, straight through it. He shouldn't have been able to do that. That was 100% a glitch. That's okay. That's why I actually usually do double layers. I just didn't have time to do it this time around. We should be able to get down there and get out to our bed okay. Uh, without too much trouble, I think. Or go... Wait, where's our defensive structure? It's on this side, right? Yeah. Just run by them here. Yeah, see, they're trying into the house because that's where I was. That's okay. We're in. No big deal. Yeah, see, there's no breakthroughs, so he shouldn't have been able to do that, but that's okay. No big deal. Switch over to a bow for a minute because we're running low on stamina. We have to do the same thing with the blocks over here that we did over there. Just put them down in here. Oops. Darn it. Hey, they're helping me dig out though. That's nice of them. They're helping with the construction. A spider there. No big deal. Alright. Swear I heard a gun go off or something like that, but nobody else is online, so it doesn't seem likely. Do we have another spider somewhere that I don't see? I don't know. Not that I'm seeing, but I guess if I don't see it, then I wouldn't see it, right? It made sense in my head, okay? Maybe he's stuck on the edge over here or something. No. This guy I'm a little worried about. He could do some damage. Oh, let's go over this way. Oh, that's where they are. Oh man, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Yep, I'm gonna die again. Goodbye. Alright, so they took out the spikes. Oh, goodbye world. Let's just get closer to where we're going to respawn at. There we go. This Horde Knight's going well. I wasn't, I knew I wasn't ready because I didn't start preparing for this until like 3 o'clock on the day of the Horde. Like I hadn't built a single thing. So I knew I wasn't ready. I just didn't think I was this far from ready, you know? That's okay. Oh, mistakes. They were made. Alright, team. Let's get our backpack back real quick. And then we'll get back inside. We suffered a single hit there, not a big deal. Alright, what we need to do is get the replacement spikes in there. So that that does not continue to happen. 
But it's not looking like that's probably gonna happen. Because I got bodies down there. And by the time I get them chopped up... Yep. Okay, we did get it down, so that's good. What happened to my cobblestone? Flagstone blocks. There they are. Alright, whatever. They're 100% gonna get through again, so let's just come up here. And let's lead them this way instead. Let's play strategically. It's a long horde night too, because our server time runs long. So we've got we've got quite a ways to go still. I should collapse that so it's like a mini fall pit. Spread out the damage a little bit to this side. We haven't gotten a whole lot on this side. Other than the initial wandering horde. I don't think there's any way I can really get that repaired right now with the state we're in, but maybe I can take out the zombie that's down there. Yeah. That way they don't continue doing what they're doing right now. Good. Now we're going to drag him to this side instead. I definitely going to have some more work to do on this defense so it's uh, up and ready for the next Horde Knight whenever that is that I play. I replace the interior there. I also need to probably double layer uh, the bottom section with higher quality blocks like concrete. And that should solve the problem. Uh, also, upgrading the spikes on the inner layer to steel would be very helpful as well, um, because I should have the ability to do that very, very soon. Let's go let them attack these corner frames real quick. One over there. I don't really want him there. Keep getting him in the shoulder instead of the head. There we go. Got him. Alright, that's doing a little bit better. We might have a second here that we can fix this catastrophe. No, I think there's one glitched out underneath. It's not gonna let us do this. Um, what we could do though is get this one and get this one over here, and we could just place. Hmm. Maybe we just do a little bit of cleanup of the bodies over here, and the one that's in the wrong spot down here. There it is. As I say, maybe we can just get rid of it, but. It worked out. So I need to dig out underneath the spikes and lay down blocks as well, probably. Oops, that wasn't supposed to be a spike. That was supposed to be a solid block. My bad fam. So these are definitely the ones that are taking the brunt of the beating, so let's upgrade them to cobblestone. Now ideally we'd like to get it all up to concrete. We just ran out of time. Mostly because I have only played on this server twice, um, and it's continued progressing without me. It's because other people play it, which is really good because it's a Patreon server. That's not a bad thing. It just means that, like, the game stage, we're still on 16.3 on this server, which means my game stage is being calculated based on how long I've been alive, including time I've been logged out. Now, they fixed that in 16.4. 
but we just haven't upgraded the server to 16.4 yet. So my game stage is higher than it should be, despite my deaths. Like, it should be considerably lower than it is. Like, considerably lower. And it isn't, and that's a bit of a problem. It does look like we've more or less exhausted this horde. Which is actually a little bit of a bummer, because we still got quite a bit of time to do. But I might as well just fix this real quick while I'm at it. This part probably doesn't matter as much, but... Just for aesthetics, if nothing else, I'd like to get this taken care of. I do hear that we have another one. It's just one. We're gonna let her take some damage on spikes from it. That'll execute her in a moment. Okay, so what I need to do is place a wood frame here before I dig out underneath that. That way it provides support and then I can dig out underneath that. There we go. I think we're pretty much fixed now. For the most part. Alright. Oh, she died before I could execute her. No big deal. Ooh, a splint. An advanced splint. Very nice. Let's get the loot off of these guys. While we have a minute. Should probably repair this one. Oops. So we did die twice in that horde night. Oh, we don't have enough iron to repair, that's right, because we used it all. And I don't know if Estrella ever put the extra iron she had over there before she logged off. I want to say she didn't. Let's go check. First, let's cool ourselves off. So what you usually uh, do during the middle of a horde night, right? Let's go take a dip in your pool. Definitely I'm going to need to figure out a way to get some negative heat uh, on my character because at this, at the current time I'm just overheating constantly in the desert. And that's no good. Yeah, she didn't. I didn't think so. Not her fault. It was a chaotic end to the stream and she wasn't feeling good and no big deal. pennies. Very nice. Alright. So we can probably scrap the iron pennies we have and get a little bit. This will give us a little bit of cooling. We'll lose our uh, our light. But that's not that huge of a deal. Scrapping a few things. Mm, that is pretty dark, actually. Let's take off our Kevlar vest, because that's adding extra insulation, right? No, nope, it isn't. Just kidding. Cowboy boots are adding a little bit. Yeah, no, I need to find a tank top or something to cool me down. More than anything, I just haven't, haven't run across that yet. Hopefully I'll run across it this week when I'm just playing off stream. So I definitely want to dig out underneath these guys uh, and put solid blocks directly underneath so that we can make sure that if the worst case scenario does happen, that sort of thing doesn't happen again where they glitch through. And ideally we would really like to get to a point where we're not in flagstone here, but we're in concrete all the way around. So I'm going to have to do some uh, some mining and stuff to farm up to that point. Not there yet. I need to remember to jump off, jump out up top so I don't take damage like that. Let's get these guys taken care of real quick. If anyone comes to kill me, I'll just jump back through. 
I think we've pretty much exhausted the horde at this point though. There might be one or two stragglers that come, but I think we hit the bulk of it. So I think that that guy didn't glitch through. I think what happened was that spike broke out and because that middle section was damaged, he, well, it was still kind of a glitch. But he basically, like, his body got stuck and the game tried to unstick him. And it just forced him through. Kind of like it can do with players sometimes. But we can avoid that issue by build, by fixing our, our toothy to actually be built, like, properly. Not a big deal. Alright, that is all the blocks. Yep. All the gore blocks down. A couple more out here. I don't know how that guy died all the way out there, actually. That's okay. We might argue. Alright, so what did we get? We got a puffer coat. We definitely do not need that. Some duct tape. We got a new compound bow. We got two new compound bows. Those will sell for pretty pennies. We got a day seven supply flare. Pretty nice. Uh, bullet tips. We got some scrap stuff. A quest to eat some bacon and eggs. Craft bacon and eggs. Nice. So we just need some white meat for that. We got a new club. It doesn't sell for much, so we'll probably just scrap that because we don't need it. We got an advanced splint. That's worthwhile. Iron shovel's worthwhile for now. We had our FAMAS going into that. Uh, got a baseball cap. Don't think I can use it just because it doesn't have a light on it. Not bad overall, though. Not bad overall. So what we'll probably do is take out the wedge tips and replace them with poles straight across. Make it a little bit easier. And I think that should work. That should work. Ideally, we'd like to upgrade these to concrete. I might actually, instead of upgrading them to cobblestone right now, just wait and break them out as flagstone later, because that'll be easier. And then do rebar frames and upgrade those. Because that'll, that'll probably work out better. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure that's what we do. We're going to take this time right now to go and take out these wedge tips that we placed in haphazardly and very hastily to try to just get something in there, because I realized I had a giant error. Um, but we're going to take them out now. So let's just put in poles instead. And we have a few blocks missing that we need to do a better job with as well. Oops. This also ups our mining skills, so there we go. We're being productive on a horde night. Alright, um, so we want to put those down there. We're going to need a couple more just solid flagstone. Oops, flagstone. Probably ten. Eh, let's just do five. Six, sure. Why not? So the idea that we're going to go for is going down to advanced rotations and just putting it on the inside like right there. And that should trick the game into thinking there's no room for them to go through there, and they shouldn't be able to really hit it. So, this should be fine. And let's do it straight across. Alright. Uh, that corner could be a problem. I think it should still be okay, though. Corners might be a problem. What do these take to repair? 
forge tungsten. Alright. Well, we have tons of tungsten smelting already. We just gotta get to a level range where we can forge it. I think that's pretty high level, though. We're only level 26. So it's gonna be a ways off. That's okay. It's something to work towards. We'll use the pick as long as we can use the pick. I wonder if we could buy forged tungsten from the trader. Might be able to. Maybe we do like an inside corner ramp or something there on that inside section. So what could we do? Uh, flagstone inside corner. I would like something smaller, not quite as high. Corner filler. Wedge. There. Those should work. So let's do those for the corners instead. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Coolio. Fix our flawed design. It was it was a very rushed job, guys. I do apologize. But I hope it was interesting watching them break through and kill me. Hope that was interesting at least. Alright, and then we need one right here. There we go. I had it there, I went to one too many. There we go. And that should protect these inside blocks as well. So, cool. Let's just upgrade those. And we're out of cobblestone, so never mind. I'll we'll have to make more cobblestone. No big deal. These ones on the inside here definitely took the brunt of everything. Alrighty. So, guys, I think that that is the end of the horde. I think we can officially call that. Uh, we did manage to finish up the design of the base. The basic design uh, upgrade those spikes to steel upgrade anything that's cobblestone to concrete and we'll be good to go through quite a few hordes uh, i would like to maybe extend and do a double layer on the inside here just to be safe Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you did, make sure you leave a like, favorite, share, subscribe, and give a comment down below. Um, I guess it wasn't a stream, it was a video. I'm really tired. <laughs> it was a really long day, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Have a wonderful day. Bye, YouTubes.